So Steven Universe Battle of Heart and Mind ended a couple days ago, and I still had some questions left that I kind of want answered. Last night, around 2 in the morning, as I was falling asleep, I like closed my eyes, and then for some reason, Steven Universe popped into my head, and I was like, wow. Wow. I just realized how many questions I have left that don't really have answers that I wonder if they're even going to get answered. And I made a list of them, and I'll insert a screenshot I took here, proving that I took this at 2 in the morning. Like the crap is that I am. And I was talking to Destiny, and I was like, I kind of want to make a video on this, because I just want to see if there's other people that kind of agree with some things that I say or some questions that I have. And she was like, okay. <laughs> She's not here, so I'm doing it by myself. And even if she was here, she'd probably just be sitting right here listening to me rambling because she doesn't watch it, so. Anyways, I made a list and I'm going to go down the list one by one. I have a few, so here we go. So first, what I like I've been thinking about for the longest time. I don't know why, but it kills me every time I think about it. I even asked people on Tumblr, and I only got like one response. <laughs> I asked people on Tumblr this question. Let's say he fuses with them. If he fuses with Pearl, he's Rainbow Quartz, right? But he's not a quartz. He's a diamond. Technically. Technically. We're speaking technically here. Wouldn't their fusion be considered Rainbow Diamonds? Don't. Let me speak. Let's say there's a regular rose quartz, like a legit one. It's a legit rose quartz. If they were to fuse with a pearl, then they would be rainbow quartz. What if there be a significant difference between a quartz and a diamond? Because I'm sure Steven being a diamond gives rainbow quartz like more abilities or strength than a regular rainbow quartz. So would it be a rainbow diamond? Wouldn't his fusions be diamonds? Wouldn't that make him stronger than a regular fusion? But someone argued with me, kind of, not really, they just commented and they were like, well, because, and I was just like, yeah, but he's still technically a diamond. Even if he doesn't identify as one, he's technically a diamond and diamonds are significantly stronger than the other gems. Another question I had with Rose Quartz, with that in the air. What's gonna happen to them? Like, you remember in that one episode where the diamonds are talking and they're in the freaking in a room filled with nothing but rose quartz that are bubbled? What's gonna happen to them? Are they gonna free them? Are they just gonna forget about them and leave them bubbled? Like, technically, they're, they didn't do anything wrong. It was mostly just because fucking diamond decided to be like, oh, hey, I'm gonna be a rose quartz. Like, are they gonna be freed or are they gonna be like, oopsie, bye, I'm sorry, we might have touched up, you, it wasn't really a rose quartz, it was one of us, sorry. In that topic, I also had a question that was like, if they get unbubbled and they figure out what happened, or they remember what happened, and they figure out, oh, it was actually a diamond that caused this, are they gonna be pissed and start like a rebellion or a revolution where they're like, No, fuck this shit. We're not, we're not dealing with this. Like, what kind of bullshit is this where we got bubbled for like thousands or millions of years while it wasn't really our, our gem's fault? That'd be kind of interesting because keep in mind, there's going to be another season of Steven Universe and they need an antagonist and unless it's just going to be like, like, I don't know, daily lives of them now that they're, everything's resolved. But I don't think they're going to do that because that's not really moving the plot forward. I also want to know, like, what's going to happen to like the shards, the gem shards. Like, you know, when they went into Yellow's, that room to get the crystal gems in the latest episode, like what's going to happen to those? The ones that they like broke and tried to fuse together, like all the force fusions. What's going to happen to the cluster? Like, are they going to try to heal it? Like, how would that work? Do they just dump all the shards into the like the little fountain and then it just they the shards just find each other and go back to normal or are they just forever fucked if they do get back together somehow are those fusions gonna be like pissed off too and then join the rebellion with the rose quartz hire me cartoon network i have so many ideas for the gems that got healed from corruption i also want to know 
what's going to happen with them? Are they going to stay on Earth with the rest of the Crystal Gems? Are they going to go back to Homeworld? Because Homeworld's basically like, it's, Steven pretty much helped it. I want to know what's going to happen to the human zoo. Like, are they just going to leave the humans there forever? If they bring them back to Earth, it's probably going to be like really fucking hard to get them to adapt to how humans are now. They've been raised with this like mentality their whole life where they're like controlled by a voice. Unless they're just going to leave them there forever, I'd be fucked. <laughs> I kinda, I also, I'm sure they're gonna bring it up at some point, cause why would they fucking do that where they're just teasing us? What's, what's inside that fucking treasure box or whatever the fuck inside of Lion's Mane? Like, what is this? What is this? Like, after all these years, I'm pretty sure they're finally gonna bring it up somewhere. Like, what's inside of it? <laughs> Everybody wants to know, just tell us what's inside the freaking chest. Watch it be something like, oh, it's a VHS of Rose doing, I don't know, hula. I also want to know, like, who's going to be the new antagonist? The new, like, villain of the new season? Because I don't think they'd want to do just a season of, like, everybody living normal lives and being nothing but, like, filler episodes. Like, if they're really going to continue it, they, they're going to need, like, a new antagonist or something to, like, move the plot forward. I want to know if Jasper already knows that Steven is Pink Diamond. Like, when she got uh, healed in the fountain in that episode, like, when she saw him and then, like, I don't know, she saw the diamonds, did they tell her at some point, like, did Amethyst go up to her and she's like, Don't worry, everything's fucked. <laughs> Steven is actually a diamond. She's your pink diamond, so... <laughs> does, does she know, or did they not tell her? And just Amethyst was like, hey, chill, Steven took care of it. But she didn't tell her, oh, he's actually pink diamond. Is she gonna find out later? I wanna know where, like, the off-colors will live, because since Homeworld is now back to being nice, like, are they gonna go back to Homeworld? Or are they gonna stay on Earth? Or what's the deal with that? Like... They took so long just to get to Earth, so I don't think they'd go back to Homeworld. But, you know, On that topic of living, I want to know where Bismuth, Peridot, Lapis, maybe the other gems, where are they going to live? Are they all just going to go stuff themselves in like a barn? Like a freaking clown car? Or did Bismuth, when Bismuth was building the, rebuilding the, the house in the temple, did Bismuth make like new rooms? Or... I want to know. Where are they going to live? Or are they just... Where? I also heard people talking about, like, a possible time skip that they would like to see that. And I, I kind of agree with the time skip. It would actually kind of add more to the story, maybe. Older Steven, maybe more... Maybe, I don't know, it takes a while for things to start happening again. Because that'd be kind of weird if he got through with, like fighting like the strongest gem and then it's just like oh now you have another enemy and they're just as strong it's like get, maybe a time skip in there would be good on that topic of time skip there was a question that popped up in my head like it's been talked about with steven universe through an episode where he's like aging and stuff but like i really want to know how does steven age like does he age normally now? Does he just age like kind of slowly? I made like a a comparison kind of. Y'all watch Twilight? <laughs> um, if you read or watched Twilight Breaking Dawn part, I don't fucking know. At some point, like there's a vampire that's like half human, half vampire. And when they age, they like aged up until like a certain point and then they just stayed like that for the rest of their life is that what steven what's gonna happen to steven is he gonna just age up to like a certain point and then just live on forever after that or is he gonna like like he's gonna age but he's slowly aging and then he just ends up dying in the future or something or is how would i say it Like, I just really want to know, is Steven going to live forever? Because that would be kind of, that'd be kind of sad. This, this is going to lead to another question. It would be kind of sad if he died, because then the diamonds, like, loved 
are pretty much trying to get used to him, and they kind of still think of him as pink in a way. So to lose pink again would probably be devastating to them. And then I also want to know if he can have kids, and if he has a kid, can he pass down his gems somehow? Or is that just like, no, you're human, you, you can't pass the gem down. We'll, we'll probably find out some more of what's going on Homeworld in the fall when the movie comes out. So yeah. But yeah, those are the questions that I have regarding Steven Universe. And if you have the same questions, or if you think I'm fucking crazy, just comment down below. If you have any questions, that aren't like mine, put them down below because why not add more questions to my already big list of questions and make me think about it in the middle of the night. Thanks for watching. Bye!